You can find him in the rough alongside the 18th fairway, just above the famous green, not searching for an errant golf ball, but painting a famous vista. Uh, my name's Stuart Hill. I served 18 years in the Army before I was medically discharged. I was served with the Royal Regiment of Wales. Um, and it was whilst I was doing a company commander slot with Two Mercy in an Afghan in 2009 that um, there was an IED explosion and I suffered a traumatic brain injury where the um, part of the radio antenna embedded itself in the back of my skull and the shrapnel went through my brain. I perforated both eardrums and I've got um, loss of hearing in both ears and severe and persistent tinnitus, which is quite annoying. Um, but the, the traumatic brain injury, it's, um, it affects an area called the executive functioning part of the brain, which is here in the right frontal lobe. That's the part of the brain that everyone has that, um, that considers within the brain problem solving, problem solving, planning, organizing, decision making. All those skills that are actually needed for the army, all those skills you need for working life, for daily life, and I struggle with them. Um, and it's had a fundamental impact on what I can do. In 2010, Stuart was introduced to the On Course Foundation. It also happened to be the same year he picked up a paintbrush for the first time since 1986. With the On Course Foundation and, and painting, uh, it just allowed me to escape from the emotional turmoil in my mind that, um, that I had because I couldn't handle the, um, the changes in me and the impact I had on my life and, um, and my family. Um, but these, two, these were two great avenues that allowed me to escape, in particular painting. It's unique. In the true sense of the word, I will never have an opportunity in my life ever again to stand here and paint Congressional. And so he finds himself at one of the world's most memorable golf courses, not playing, but painting. It was a case of capturing the Simpson Cup and what that was about. Um, and dare I say, because I don't like to do this, but I use the cliched image of the amputee soldier. Um, and I say, I don't like to say it, but because um, I, the invisible injuries is a different issue, but I've got an invisible injury and it would have been fine to paint myself in there. Um, but actually it, it wouldn't have had any significance to an outsider or to someone who bought the painting. So it does need that imagery. So this is an amalgam actually of three photographs I got from the internet. Um, Congressional, that is the pose of Tiger Woods um, onto the 18th hole. And so I used his club. The body colouring um, is from an image of one of the Simpson, sorry, one of the players who played at the Simpson Cup last year. And the legs are from one of the members, Stuart Ellis. I wanted to find the right prosthetic and the right angle, and that's, so that's an amalgam of sort of three or four photographs. Stuart's work of art will be sold at auction, the plan being that it's the first sale of many. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Washington.